Welcome back, Esports Report continuing live here from New York City Studios. Uh, I was told in the chat to go look at Parasite's Twitter. Apparently he's made some announcements since E6 officially said that he is no longer part of the team. Here's a look at his updated status. Uh, announcement soon regarding the opportunity I was presented with. I'd like to thank Enigma 6 Group for treating me like family. Nothing to do with the people I worked with or my teammates. This was an opportunity I couldn't refuse. You'll understand. Optic Gaming Parasite. Optic <laughs> Parasite. Optic Parasite. It's on its way back. The, out. the first move in Roster Mania, we're still expecting plenty more moves, most likely to happen outside of our top 12 Pro League teams. Yeah. But there might be a few that will happen inside our top 12. And the next thing we're going to talk about is one of those teams that is off to a slow start. TCM somehow managed to finish fifth place overall in this event. But first, let's talk about the roster itself. It was amazing to me to see Aix and TP coming back together. You know they've had success playing alongside each other, but personally, they don't always get along. They've been able to separate business and personal life, though, and they felt this was the best opportunity for them, teaming up with some of the best from Ireland and the UK and Jordan Moose. Yeah, like you said, Puckett, no one really saw these two players coming back together after the end of Ghosts, and then the fact that they came back together and then with two European teammates, Super strange, um, but this team made it work at UMG Dallas. Um, when you think about a fifth place placing for this team, um, I mean, you don't really expect you it. don't really expect it at all. Maven did somehow, but <laughs> he's a bald wizard. Um, but you know, after looking at you know comparing like their uh, performance in the pro league and so far in season three, not representative how well they did at UMG Dallas. Yeah, I mean, if we're gonna we're gonna go into the results for uh, pool play and bracket play for TCM here, and it really looks like they had a start that did, no one really wants. 0-3 to Elevate, 0-3 to Epsilon. That, that is literally the worst you could start in the pool play. Uh, they are able to regain composure, 3-1 to ON, and then 3-0 the open bracket team and, and Rampage Black. So they end up 2-2 two two in the pool. Uh, I think they were actually really close to making it into a bracket play. It was just the head-to-head -head map count between L, uh, Epsilon and ON that they weren't able to make it. So they were actually close to making it into bracket play after 0-3-0-3 start. Yeah, and the most impressive thing about bracket play really, I mean, they beat Enigma 6 uh, 3-1, but you know, Enigma 6 bombed out all event. They're able to beat Elevate. That's supposed to be a 3-2 win. Um, and you know, really, really important to know three, that. 3-3. Right, they, they, they tied him. Uh, but you know, very important to note, they get completely destroyed in pool play in the group of death. But they're able to adapt, and the second time around, they're able to come out on top. You know, they learn from their, from their mistakes, and they're able to clutch up an S and D. Um, and then, you know, they go on, they beat VVV, they knock them out. We talked about that before. They end up losing 1-3 to Epsilon. That sends them out of the tournament. But then in the Constellation match, they're able to beat Best Envy in a Best 5 in Game 5. But, I mean, JP, really, like, the story for TCM all weekend long was their S and D game. Yeah, if we're going to look at some S and D stats by TCM, their S and D pretty good stats. They were that was the savior for them. They end up with an overall record in S and D of eight and three, uh, almost two rounds of score difference, um, and then a 1.12 overall team S and D KD. So break that down for me, JP. Eight and three, definitely impressive. Out yeah. of your 11 games, you're going to win eight of them. How big of a deal is that 1.9 rounds? Two rounds is actually pretty big, considering that they have three losses. So you're going to have a smaller round count with those losses those losses but two rounds is is definitely big in s and d and then a 1.12 team s and d kd is absurd because anything positive plus something that that positive at 1.12 is is crazy but we're gonna highlight tp he ended up with a 1.13 s and d kd uh and a 0.77 kills per round stat and uh one point or 1.0 plants per game. So he's able to maintain a strong S and D KD while maintaining that OBJ presence with a one, one plant per game. I mean, this was like the saving grace for TCM in this whole tournament. They ended up actually placing fifth, probably because of their S and D performance. They were 0-3 in S and D in the Pro League, which is surprising because of how well they were able to do in this tournament. And I mean, if they could perform online like they did here on S and D in LAN, I think they could make a run and possibly place in that top eight position going into S3 playoffs. TP looks like Batman. I think TP is Batman. Did you see that picture? Yes. He looks like the savior that we need. Um, but 
Saw creepy. him tweeting over the weekend, um, you know, talking about how they built a lot of team chemistry at UMG Dallas. Very important because this team was kind of thrown together last minute. You know, everyone was assuming, right. wow, X and TP, not in season three. That's really shocking. TCM make a crazy move after dropping their best player in Mad Cat. They let go of their captain, Shane, and they bring these two players You on. make room for Aches and TP oh, 100%, if you yeah. know what's good for you. TCM 100%. making some power moves, and uh, Maeve and I talked about this on the Bracket Show. We expected to see a stronger TP this weekend. All the distractions, the wedding stuff, it, it, there's a lot going on. Graduating college as well. There was a lot of stress leading up to this point. Never could really focus 100% purely on AW. We expected him to be able to do that this weekend, and he had a phenomenal showing. TCM, though, making that run through the loser's bracket. Incredible finish from them to go all the way to fifth place. We have the, the video to show us how they won that game five against Envy. Remember, Envy and TCM knocked out of the tournament at this point, but there's $2,000 on the line. If you get fifth, if you get sixth place, you get nothing. So a big game five, a $2,000 game. Let's take a look. Myself, Paradox, Valen, doing the casting call into action for you guys. We thank you so much for watching us. We got some awesome action going down on Alpha as well. Optic Gaming, give you guys a quick update. Optic Gaming is up 2-1 on Denial. Winner will move on to the finals. Very interesting stuff. And we're already in a 2v1 situation. Jcap the last up for NB Loose and Ace alive for TCM. So let's hop on board with Jcap. See where he's at on the map because he might be able to take at least one of these players out. He has that ASM1. Looks like a player did spot him. Looks like he's getting ready to get pushed and possibly lose this round. Well, he's just going to play it out here. Staying alive. Not trying to jump into this situation. He knows he has an enemy right in front of him. Going to go ahead and jump out. Very smart play. Actually hearing aches. So Jcap using those Astros to his advantage here, but not paying attention here as he's gonna get tagged up. Does turn now on Moose, reloading here. Spotting Moose, tagging him up, but Moose is gonna get away now. So running is Moose, he's gotta stay alive. We'll hop over him, him the re-challenge here. That was kind of the TCM. start for TCM, and, and you know that one kind of is gonna be hurting Jcap in the back of his mind. 1v2, gives himself an opportunity, but Moose was just too fast. What did you see from Moose throughout the weekend in s and I mean, we highlighted TP as like that spotlight player, but Moose stepped up ma like in a major way. Um, you know, he's been a really question mark with this team after picking up Aix and Teep. You know, what his role is going to be with this team moving forward. But, you know, regardless of roles, uh, Moose is a very good S&D player. You know, we saw that at EU Regionals. We saw that, you know, even at Cod Champs. Uh, but I remember even back in Ghost, Moose oh, yeah. was a monster. Um, you know, even by MLG Anaheim, thinking back to, um, you know, that TCM team placing third. But, I mean, Moose goes absolutely off in this game. I believe he ends up being 10 and 1. Aix is like right behind him as well. So, very, Envy is a very good SD squad. You know, Envy is no, like, notorious for being a good SD squad no matter what team they put together. Um, but, TCM just looked absolutely dominant in this game mode all weekend long. And you see TCM. Coming on the defensive end, Aix picks up two big kills to start off the round, and then TP in your final kill cam, taking down Looney. At the start, though, Aix 3-1, Moose 3-0. And, and on the other side, they've been keeping Envy pretty quiet, despite some nice plays from Jcap in the first round. Yeah, I mean, Moose, it says a lot about his performance in this tournament, because at X Games, he had a pretty poor performance. I think it was a .7 something overall K KD. Yeah, we cringed and, a little bit when yeah. we crunched those numbers. Yeah, Moose really showed his dominance, especially in this s and And he was a main reason why they were able to make this loser bracket run and end up placing in the money at fifth place. And you see TP getting the bomb down. He was the bomb carrier for the majority of the week. And this round, it was all envy. And, and it was really Jcap kind of starting to heat up with the battle. Started off with two. Moose, last man standing, Octane on the defuse. Moose forced to go for it, and this is going to be a round win for Envy. So Envy showed a little bit of life here. Expected them to come surging back. You'll see how the rest of the game played out. A lot of people were saying on Twitter, oh, Envy wasn't taking this one serious, so it wasn't a big deal, not a big match. You look at the gameplay, and these guys are all trying their hardest. Oh, yeah. The match before it went right down to the wire. Envy refused to give up. And, you know, this is a $2,000 game five. Loser here walks away empty-handed. Your weekend was really for nothing. Um, you know, usually we see like top eight all receive some money, but 
This only for top five, so I'm really, really important match here. There's no reason not to be, you know, not trying here. Moose switching over to the ASM1 this round, able to add some kills, working with TP. Three down already, and it's Looney now in a 1v3. I think that was kind of the story for me watching TCM, especially on a map like Recovery. They were not afraid to get in your face and get really aggressive. It's not in the first 10 seconds, but it seems like they wait, all the grenades drop down, and then they come flying through. And one thing really too, like that aggression is coupled with, you know, TB being able to plant the bomb and then get kills after planting the bomb. On old Envy lineups and even back to ON, you know, I remember seeing TP in the Pro League. Basically, you know, his main mission was, you know, rush, get the bomb down, that's it. You know, maps like Sully, he would just rush people. Yeah, and any kills after that are extra bonus things that, like, are just good for the team. I right, mean, exactly. But like, you already have bomb down. Right, in, but in like past situations, TP wasn't getting those kills. You know, you would see TP go, you know, two and eight in an SMD or even like three and seven, which is you know, not good. Even though you're the bomb carrier, like when you look at like the SMD player from like season one to season two of the Pro League, Parasite, is consistently averaging a positive KD and averaging almost like or over one plant per game. Which is really important. Yeah, you could argue that that main bomb carrier is the most important player for the team because if he's able to get that bomb down and then he's able to con consistently stay alive, that is great for the team because you're getting extra kills plus you're able to get that bomb plant from that player. I mean, the bomb planter is also important because once the team kills the bomb planter, they can hear the bomb drop. Right. So that, that live is the most important out of all of those four players. Game starting to get out of hand here for Envy as TCM looking to lock it down. Uh, Jurd, not the best event for him. Overall, I think when we looked at the numbers, it was kind of surprising to see one of the most explosive players from Europe ever to have an off event. Just one and four here, but you can see the, the slack picked up by Moose. Nine and one at this point in the game. Jay Cap just watching teammates drop all over the map. He's pinned between three players, and TCM just kept pouring on the pressure time and time again. That's a really important point too. The fact that Jared really didn't have that good of an event is really kind of a shining light, like the silver lining, kind of a little bit uh, for TCM. Because if you get a good event out of Jared, like what's the ceiling for this team? You know, going forward, um, Ax was really upset on Twitter that they lost that match to Epsilon. Um, they said they pissed away like two maps, which is really, really unfortunate for them. But, I mean... What do you mean, Max? I'm saying, like... <laughs> no, I'm saying the fact that, like, with Jurd, like, if you get a better event out of him, they possibly play top four. You're saying, you're saying this team's got a lot of potential? A lot of potential, yep. All right, and of course, you're going to see Moose finish the game 10-1. and one. And So this one just about done. Uh, Max, you're a liar. That is his second death. Aix, though, ten one, ten two, working with TP... And they're going to go against J-Cap and Octane here in the 2v3. It looks like Jurd still up as well. I can't believe Jurd was, you know, just 1-4 and four coming into round number 6. Able to pick up his second kill all up to Octane. Octane versus three players. The miracle. It looked like it was going to start and then it ended so abruptly. Envy taken out in game 5 after trying so hard in that second hard point to force it there. TCM shocking everyone with the fifth place finish. You know, I thought we would see TCM in the top eight. Didn't expect them after their struggles in Pro League to come in and finish in our top five. How big of a statement is that for this team, JP? I mean, it's big because you saw they didn't really have a good start to the Pro League. They're able to bounce back and get this fifth place finish. They absolutely dominate Envy in that final game five. However, like we could say that Envy may have not been trying. But I think it was double the kills that they were able to get in that final S and D, so that they definitely made a statement in that last one. I mean, I was, mean? Think, I was thinking about it in the head, uh, in my head, about just like how it would have played out if TCM were able to win their pool, because they would have ended up going up against Envy, who that we know they can beat. They would have gone up against Red Militia and gotten crushed, and then eventually they would have had to play OG. So technically, they they ended up placing better by bombing out a little bit in their pool, but. Going forward, Puckett, I mean, what do you really expect from this TCM squad? I, I don't know. I, I think they struggle online. That gives them a very bad seed coming into land, and things in Season 3 are going to get gross. So I don't know what's going to happen. You have TP on the West Coast. You have three other guys on the East Coast. Do you try and bring TP closer to you? Do you start giving TP host? What's the game plan for them to counter everything with the online play? I think that's a question. But I think this squad, a lot of people are sleeping on them. They do have a ton of potential if you just look at the names. The question is, 
Will they be able to keep improving on their chemistry? One more time, here's a look at TCM's results throughout the tournament. They started off 0-6, losing to the big names, Elevate and Epsilon. Epsilon, probably the most shocking uh, stat there because it happened again later in the tournament. Epsilon hands them two of their three losses on their way to a fifth place finish so there you have it tcm finishes top five but when we talk when we come back we're talking about that epsilon squad after beating tcm they rounded out our top four probably the biggest surprise of the week and we'll talk about how a team went from 0 and 5 in the pro league all the way in to the final four